Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, May the 11th, we're off to Chester, the second day of the May meeting. Another cracking card. Goodish ground expected. A really good prize money offer. A huge crowd likely and some fascinating races to learn for the future about. Hopefully, we'll find a couple of winners to boot. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 3.15. This is the tote.co.uk. Bet 5, get 20. All Mon stakes. One mile, five furlong and 84 yards. Quite a good test of stamina for this Group 3 Class 1 for four-year-olds and upwards. Over £67,000 to the winner. And I think that Israel can make the step up from progressive useful handicapper into group race performer now that his stamina has been drawn out. John and Thady Gosman absolutely flying along at the moment. Nine winners from the last 26 runners, nudging 35% strike right. Israel fairly lightly raced since starting off his two-year-old career with a victory at Doncaster in Maiden Company back in September 20. 21. He was a good winner into handicaps at Newbury in May 2022 from a mark of 89. Then whacked up six pounds, finished a cracking third behind Secret State at the Royal Meeting in the King George V stakes. Um, shaping really well, having been heavily supported there on the fast ground. His final run of that term, where well, he finished last of three in a muddling contest. Ignore that. Um, he re- then he had 105 days off, missing most of the summer, so perhaps wasn't right at Ascot. But he bounced back to his best form on heavy ground at Doncaster winning off a mark of 99 then put up £7 and no impression in the November handicap perhaps one run too many there on testing ground that was off a mark of 106 so they've really been forced into group company I think it's as his stamina is drawn out that he's going to do better he's up to a mile five here on decentish ground he's got the scope to keep on improving now on the ratings he's got quite a few pounds to find with one or two of these rivals but I think he's liable to be fully fit open to more improvement Improvement than most of them. Jim Crowley's been booked, and I'm pretty confident he's going to run a big race here. Our betting expert value angle selection goes in the 205. This is the Deep Bridge Capital Handicap. Seven furlongs and 127 yards, a class two for three year olds only. Just over £20,000 to the winner. Some interesting unexposed runners here from the top yards, but I'm going to go for Coco Jack, who's a lot more exposed. Uh, Comes from the George Scott Yard in the winners of late. Coco Jack has run 14 times in his career. Four wins, three places. He's tried to run on the all-weather three times without any effect. That's not his game at all, but it's got him fully fit. Um, He ran at Wolverhampton, Kempton and Chelmsford in February, March and April. Um, Helped get his handicap marked down a bit. Last time out at Haydock, he caught my eye back on the turf under Billy Lockner and finishing fourth behind Racing Brakes Rider. If you watch that run back, he was held up towards rear, which is never that easy a plan on fast ground at Haydock. He began to make quite rapid headway, parked really wide, three furlongs out, then got crowded out, running on quite strongly in the closing stages. I think that was a fairly strong handicap for the grade. He should now be spot on. Um, he's off a mark of 92. He's been dropped another pound, and the three-pound claim of Benoit de la Sayat takes over this afternoon. I think everything's in place for a big run uh, for Coco Chet. He does drop back slightly in trip, but they always go a really strong gallop around Chester, and I'm hoping he can weave his way through late. He'll be ridden for luck. He should be a big price. Best of luck on Thursday, betting experts. And please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos. 